My name is Robert Evan McCauley, and I've just finished recording my second album, which is called The Fall and Rise of Arthur Grimley. The album is um, its a very ambitious kind of Mr. McCauley's opus. I had done a first CD a number of years ago. Not long after, I think, I was trying to think, okay, well, what should I do now? So I thought, well, what, what could I do better than to spend the next 10 or 12 years of my life uh, on, on an album, you know? So, um, no, it's, it's, um, I'm really happy with it. It's taken a while to gel, but I think, you know, maybe that's kind of the way music is sometimes, and so it was a long incubation period, but I think in the end it's, um, it's kind of where I want it to be, so I'm happy with that. Some things that you, you can't explain But a broken promise, a tear in the rain Can't help but wonder how it got so one-sided There's nothing quite as sad as a love unrequited It's a concept album kind of in the tradition of 70s and 80s rock concept albums and I wanted to do something rather than just have a collection of songs. I wanted there to be some kind of overarching theme to it so that it was all tied together and I wanted it to, to stand as a single work of art. It's about a guy that has had a, an accident and his life begins to proverbially flash before his eyes so he's re reliving the moments of his life He's not sure if who he imagines himself to be is actually who he was, so it's him discovering a lot about himself and his life. It's an album about hope and second chances and learning to deal with regret and coming out on the other side with an appreciation for life. If I could be the king of the world, turn it up. Musically, there are nods to a lot of the bands and the artists that, that I grew up listening to and liking so much. It would be like an Easter egg hunt for people if they're interested. For me, it's a tip of the hat to the, the acts and the bands and the artists that I like so much. So it was kind of fun to do that as well. You know, I'd spent a lot of time uh, making this album. It just seemed like Kickstarter was a good way of communicating with people who are interested in hearing the music and me being able to, to get it to them. This album was a, a real labor of love and I am really excited about it. I'm proud of it, um, the way it came out, and I'm hoping that through the Kickstarter campaign um, that I can reach out to everybody else and um, the people that might be interested in, and hopefully they'll feel the same about it. Now you think I'm crazy, I've got no self-control. Must be drugs and alcohol, or all that rock and roll. I am me as you are me, I'll tell you now my friend. The time has come to realize this is not the end.